Hey guys, Robert Roy, founder of WealthBuildersHQ.com. Welcome to our update on Hood. I've been talking about this a lot. I, I talked about this yesterday on my uh, YouTube show that I did, uh, the live show that I was asked to be on and host. And we talked about the potential of the breakout, the potential of becoming optionable. It's all documented on yesterday's show. And today I want to go ahead and take a look at it. It's pre-market. We've got about two minutes left before the market opens right now. Uh, keep in mind, this is for educational purposes only, right? So if you look at Hood, the way I've got the chart set up is the pink and blue bars are the pre-market, pre and post. So you can see in the post-market how Hood yesterday had this great run-up right <clears throat> actually you could see in regular market how it had a great run up but it continued up from about 46 to 52 yesterday and now we're up at about 54 and a half right now in the pre-market so as i was going through this in my candidate list for this morning <clears throat> for our social updates that we do i ran across because i keep all my charts my screens open on my desktop my option chain pops up and hood comes up and doesn't say hood is not optionable today it says hood's got an option chain on it whoa what in the world happened so in just a few days hood has now become optionable i want to reveal open to you show you what's going on with this option chain so if you look very quickly you'll see under open interest zero <clears throat> delta zero mid bid ask zero there's nothing there are monthly strikes on them not weeklies but they do have $1 increments. As you start to get out of the money, they drop to the $5, which I'm okay with. I'm not looking to trade the out of the money anyway. So I wanna see how this unfolds, particularly how the August 21st unfolds, which is this month's full options chain as the market opens up. So I'm gonna hit pause. Uh, actually, where are we? Let's see. Uh, we've got less than a minute for the market to open. So actually, we'll keep it going. I wanna watch what happens with Hood first as an optionable stock, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try, let's see if TradeStation allows it this close to the game. They get very finicky. Uh, their servers bog down. They're terrible when it comes to that. See, I clicked on this, what, five, eight seconds ago, and I cannot get my window to pop yet. And there's the bell, there's the open, right? So let's see, if we pull, the option chain up, you can see we have prices now. Look at the deltas, right? We're looking at the stock. Uh, let's end that process, whatever that was. We're looking at the stock price. Oh, it looks like TradeStation froze. <laughs> it looks like they froze. I don't believe it. All right, I'll start it back up and we'll continue, but let me finish this up. Guys, they've got them up here, 1190. Uh, actually, let's look a little bit closer. We're probably looking at, let's go to, to 48, uh, 690 by 1190. That's a lot of money. That's $5 in there of bid ask spread. That's tremendous. 77 Delta, right? It, it's crazy. Let me go ahead and restart TradeStation and we'll jump back in on it. So TradeStation came right back up, uh, but I had already paused the video and waited a few minutes you can see that we've had that five minute candle has passed by right now it is uh 9 39 we've got 37 seconds left in this candle right here we had the first five minute candle of the day just rocked and then from there uh the, the second candle everybody's just going whoa holy mackerel and but i think what's really happened is people are going wait a second there's options on it now look at the volume Right. If we go and let me get a couple of more strike prices in here. Actually, not. let me just get all just to make sure we're not missing anything. OK, so there's a lot of in the money options that are set up over here. There's not a whole lot of um, lower delta options on this right now. But remember, I said it in the first piece of this earlier part of we've got five dollar increments as we get further out uh, in this position, but we're at $1 uh, deeper in the money. So if we go and look for that 65 to 85 Delta, what do we see? Now remember, I I'm not trading this today. There's no options on this yet. I'm not trading it. There's no open interest on it yet and will not be because open interest is a product of before today. Volume is a product of today. So if we look for that 65 to 85 Delta, we're looking between here and here. All right, so better bid ask spreads right now, 1410 by 16. I'm okay with that. 
there are 2,700, uh, 2,100 open contracts, uh, volume rather, 2,100 volume on that today. All right, so amazing. And what we could actually do is if TradeStation lets us, right? But let's go, at, wow, look at this. So we're at 70, wow, we're at $74. $74, guys, we got this yesterday uh, when I talked about it. It was 35 bucks-ish a share, 35, 34 and change, somewhere around there. We've doubled, holy mackerel. We've doubled on this move. Look at that on hood right did optionable help it i am sure it did but if we look biggest open interest right uh volume rather is that 3900 the 70 strike let's go click on that 70 strike and let's go back to the chart and let's look at the chart and this is an option chart you can see these options started out at three bucks and they're right now at 1990 right that is how whack these options are right now how much volatility is in there you need to be watching hood as a company guys you watch it unfold live right here at wealthbuildershq.com as we shared with you the opening of the option chain and exactly what happened when you're looking at this look four thousand volume today in total we're looking at four six seven eight nine thousand between nine and ten thousand contracts that's just on this month did anybody buy anything further out? Some, I mean, look, we're still at a couple hundred contracts out here in the 70s on the strikes. We're at 200 contracts in January. February, we're at 63. January of 2023, we've got 48 contracts on the 70s. Man, it is just rocking, but there's huge, huge bid-ask spread. Certainly make sure you're negotiating with it. Uh, this, were, this was a pure speculative trade to try to pick it up. I mean, look, you've got the one, 167 volume on the 20 strike, which is bid at five cents by $70 and 60 cents. Uh, let's go see what happened on that option itself. And you could see that it came in at $34 uh, and people have paid as much as $54, between 34 and 54 for that option. They paid almost as much money as the stock itself is worth, uh, was worth, right, at 54. All right, absolutely amazing when you look at it, right? What a move. What a move, what a move, what a move. Let's just go back to Hood as the equity here, right? They're up at $77. We pull up the option chain again. Guys, look, at, I'm going to get rid of, um, well, I'm not going to get rid of all. I'm going to leave it at all. We're just going to scroll up on it. I'm going to get rid of some of these other months. We don't really need those right now. <clears throat> so what's my plan here today? If we go and look at it, let's go find, identify those 65 to 85s on the delta again. All right? So we've got 83 down to 67. All right? Those four. All right? That makes it kind of rough. Right? Um, there's only four available, but we're looking at 1960 by 20. Not a bad price at all. 67 Delta, 4,000 of uh, volume, right? Then you've got 1730 by 2730. The market maker saying, please don't trade this. 1920 by 2920, don't trade this. 2120 by 3120, don't trade this. They're trying to drive traffic to the 70s, right? That's where they're pushing traffic right now. Be very careful that this is not the stock price is not an overreaction of how options came out and where people are pushing with the options pricing. That could be driving price. You may see some pullback, but if you can get some kind of retest, you know, pull back a little bit on the market and a bounce off a key area, there's an opportunity to potentially take a trade. All right, folks, listen, I hope this helps, man. This was exciting to actually watch and document live a, a the opening of the options pricing itself on a company. So with that, stay focused on the quest to becoming a great trader. Keep crushing it. And remember, you just one trade away. Take care and I'll see you at our next update. Bye for now. Folks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the training. Now, if you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and go ahead and hit the subscribe button right over here and hit the bell to keep up with all the latest trading content. And oh, did you know that we have a podcast? Supercharge your trading education with the Stock Market Millionaire, which you can find in the description down below. And while you're there, you can also find other amazing free trading resources that I've put together just for you.